Hey, this is Michael from Distro Mike, and today we're gonna to show you a few ways to fix your clogged disposable vape. Uh, we're gonna show you four quick ways, and then we're gonna explain why they clog in the first place. So first thing you wanna try is if your vape has a button on it, you're gonna to wanna to hold this button, you're gonna to wanna to heat the coil up, and that coil is gonna melt your clog, and you're gonna be able to clear it, and your vape will start working again. So if your vape does not have a button, there's a few other options you can try. The first is gonna be blowing through the bottom. This does not work with all disposables, but I'd say about 50% of the disposables will uh, work blowing through the bottom. So what you wanna do is take off any sort of uh, rubber protective pieces that may be covering up a charger. If there is no protective pieces on the bottom, all you gotta do is blow. When you blow, it turns on the activator inside heats the coil up, it clears the clog. You're just gonna wanna blow on it until you see smoke coming out the top. Now, if that still doesn't work for you, um, you've got another option, which is simply just hitting it as hard as you can until the air pressure actually clears the clog. So you're gonna sit there and puff on it as hard as you can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's assume that it does not work. There is a very quick and easy fix to get your vape unclogged. And all it's gonna take is pretty much a hair dryer or some sort of heating air device or mechanism. What you're gonna wanna do, plug your hair dryer in, you're gonna take your vape and you're gonna turn this on to hot and uh, you know as high air pressure or as much airflow as you can. And then you're gonna wanna hold the uh, hair dryer up to the vape right where you see sort of the center post start to come out, that's where your coil is. So you're gonna sit this, you're gonna hold the vape up to the hair dryer, and you may need to hold it there for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, every 10 or 15 seconds, give it a go. What's happening is the heat from the hair dryer is heating up your distillate inside the vape, at which point you're gonna suck on it, your clogs already sort of heated up and melted down a little bit and it's gonna start working again. So you got four options, blowing through the bottom, try and hit it extra hard, use a vape that has a button and just hold the button. Or if that doesn't work, use some sort of a hair dryer to heat up the device right where the actual ceramic coil is and then your clog should clear. So now that we've gone over the four ways to clear a clog, I wanna explain why they clog in the first place. So distillate is very thick. When you put distillate inside a disposable, uh, it sits there, you're normally filling it uh, at a pretty warm temperature, so the distillate is very thin and goes right in. What happens once the distillate cools down? Uh, it gets extremely hard, it gets extremely thick. Inside your center post, this metal post that goes through your disposable, there's a couple holes uh, around the base uh, of that center post which allows for your distillate to go from the holding tank into the actual coil, at which point you, when you hit it or you press the button, your ceramic coil heats up and then it vaporizes any sort of distillate that's gone in through those little holes. Uh, the issues that happen are sometimes too much distillate gets into the coil and then it ends up blocking the airflow. So when you go to hit it, nothing happens. When you're using a button activated device, you're, you can just hold the button and that's gonna heat up the coil. And when that coil heats up, ideally it's gonna melt any sort of clogged distillate that's inside the center post here. Most devices these days do not have buttons. Most of them are pull activated, meaning you take your device, you inhale, and then when you're inhaling, uh, the device knows to, to turn itself on and to activate that coil. When you have a clog in the center post or you know around your coil and you go to hit it, there's no airflow going through the device. So in these devices that are pull activated, there's a sensor somewhere in the battery area that senses when you're inhaling through the top and it turns that little activator on. So if, if you have a non-button device and you go to hit it and it's clogged, it never actually makes it to that activator, so your vape never turns on, it never starts heating up, and that's why it's extremely hard to clear the clogs. Um, we recommend buying a vape that has a button, 
We're gonna recommend using a hair dryer if your vape does clog. There are some new technologies coming out such as dual air flows, meaning there's gonna be a secondary air chamber off to the side. So if your main airway chamber does clog, you're still able to hit it and that activator is still gonna be turned on because of that second airway, that second passageway. Once the device turns on, the coil heats up, it melts that clog, and then you're good to go. If you do have a clogged vape uh, and you do manage to clear the clog, you wanna make sure that you puff on it for a little bit after to really try and melt the entire clog. What you don't wanna do is sit there and rip it back to back to back, because then your coil's heating up even more. It's gonna heat up the distillate around the coil and then when you go to set it down, it's gonna be clogged again, and you're gonna to have to go through that same process over and over. So once you clear your clog, take a few small puffs, uh, you know, every 30 seconds, a minute, whatever, with the intention of burning through all the distillate that's clogging your coil. But if you get it too warm or you puff it too much, the distillate's gonna heat up, it's gonna seep back into that coil and block that airflow, and then you're gonna be back in the same predicament that you're currently in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, or if you received a clog vape from one of our brands being Baked HHC or Clean AF CBD or our budget brand, please reach out to us. We will try to help you fix the clog. If we're unable to help you fix it, we'll just send you a replacement. Hope you have a nice day. We'll see you soon.